Hey guys, welcome back. Today is gonna to be just a quick two color eyeshadow look featuring the extremely limited Kat Von D eyeshadow in Lolita. And also this limited edition MAC eyeshadow. It's the Spellbinder shadow in Dynamically Charged. Today I've got this Bananarama hairdo action going on and these Madonna eyebrows. So let's smoke these eyes out. Okay, um, now most of my brushes are really dirty right now. Um, this one's pretty clean, so we'll go ahead and start with the Morphe M573. And I'm not even using a transition shade with this. I used this color the other day and it was easily buildable and it was easily blendable. And it just didn't really seem to need any other transition colors, depending on what you're going for. But I didn't really find that I needed one. And then I'm going in with a clean Morphe M504 to really soften and blur that outside edge to make sure that there are no harsh lines. So my foundation has been on since about eight o'clock this morning. It is now 10 after six in the evening. And this IT Cosmetics CC Cream is pretty sweet. Um, it was actually kind of recommended by the boss lady at work. She's been using it seem to like it and I did some research on the interwebs and it seemed to be pretty well received um, I was looking for something honestly that could be like an actual one and done um, for the summertime you know, having oily skin, it's pretty hard to find something that you can just put on and not have to set with powder. And, you know, it would be your moisturizer, anti-aging serum, you know, you know how it's advertised. Um, but just like a one product to do everything. And, uh, and I tested it out that way. Actually, I really liked how it looked all day by itself, um, but not using any moisturizer underneath and using that as my moisturizer, um, just for me, didn't work out so well. Um, I've actually never been that dry in my entire life, which is weird. But again, so I just, you know, I tried it again the next day um, with my regular moisturizer, but it felt a lot better the second day. And what I really like about it is as long as I use a moisturizer underneath, um, it doesn't seem to matter how I apply it um, and it doesn't seem to matter what I apply it with. Um, I can go really heavy handed with it um, or I can go super, super light and sheer and it looks really good both ways. So it definitely makes less overall product that's sitting on my face and so um, by the end of a long day it still looks pretty close to you know natural skin um, now this Lolita eyeshadow um, so interesting about eyeshadows these days is no matter how many colors you have they're still coming out with stuff that you just feel like you really have never seen before. Um, but then, you know, after you put it on and you get other shadows paired with it, um, you definitely realize that, yeah, I probably have about three or four pretty close dupes for this color. Oh man. This brush is dirty. This is the uh, the MAC 221, um, which I like to use in the crease um, to really pack a lot of pigment in a small area. 
And just like the, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, just like the Annie from Burbank Shadows and the Jeffree Star eyeshadows, which I'm not using today. Holy shit. I uh, decided to go with his arch nemesis or whatever. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I don't pay attention to any of the internet drama. Um, you know, there's so much... I see a lot of it on the makeup boards where, you know, oh, I'm not gonna buy from, I'm not gonna buy from this line because he's a terrible person, and oh, I'm not gonna buy from that line because she's a terrible person, and I'm like, if I didn't use products because somebody was a terrible person, um, I wouldn't be using makeup because honestly, I feel like everybody is a terrible person, and uh, ignorance is bliss. I'm, I feel like when you're when you're under a microscope like that, you know, you can't It's probably a good thing I'm not famous. Cuz some of the shit that comes out of my mouth. So the lesson is don't feed into drama. Mind your own business. Do what makes you happy. Don't take everything so freaking seriously. Now I'm just rambling. I have no idea where this started or what even what I'm even talking about at this point. So, oh, anyway, I know where this started. Um, so no, this uh, this eyeshadow. Um, I've never used any of the. Ca That's not true, Jeremy. Um, the Kat Von D eyeshadows definitely and definitely this one um, layers and blends out very similarly to the Annie from Burbank. It seems to blend out just as easily as those eyeshadows do. You'll notice that I'm only using two colors for this entire eye look and I still treat it like the hundred layers of eyeshadow challenge. If there is such a thing, I'm sure there is. And with that 221 Packing the color a little bit darker and denser. Maybe that's a secret to growing old is the older you get, the smokier your eyeshadow gets. That's probably what I'll end up doing. I'm smoking out pretty far, but I also want to just kind of, I want to bring it up just a little bit but I definitely want to kind of lift. Because uh, my Botox is totally starting to fall. <laughs> so then I'm going to go in with my trusty Urban Decay 24-7 waterline pencil in the color rail. Um, mine is down to a nub. I've seen where people used this and didn't like it and they said it didn't last any longer than anything else and I think the trick like any other eye makeup is that you really just have to build it up um, you can't just put on like a quick swipe and call it a day um, if you want this to stay on there and last for you know 24 hours you need to go in and do a couple of coats these spellbinder shadows um, Again, they, they swatch really pretty, but I feel like maybe they're one of those shadows that is better, that is better applied um, with a finger rather than a brush. Um, but you can actually see right there, you can see that pattern of the uh, magnet. I guess with some formulas, they actually recommend to apply with your fingertip rather than a brush. Something that I remember happening the first time that I wore this, I think the only other time that I wore this shadow um, that's happening right now is um, the swatch, you know, the, the, uh, the finger swatch there, it has so much of that metallic sheen. Um, but on the lid, it just doesn't have that payoff. 
It's like all of the uh, all of the sheen sticks to your finger, um, and then the the brown base of the pigment is what ends up transferring onto the lid itself. I mean, it's still pretty. I still like it. Um, I just feel like it doesn't have nearly the same impact on the lid as it does on your finger, which I guess kind of sucks because I mean, you wear eyeshadow on your eyes, not on your fingers. I keep using that 221 to really just softly diffuse the edge of that dynamically charged, is that what it's called? What the hell am I using? I am gonna use a brush with this Spellbinder shadow for the lower lash line here because if I tried to apply that with my finger, it would be an absolute mess. So I'm just gonna get my lashes coated really quick and I'll be right back. And that's gonna be it for today's two color eye look featuring Mac and Kat Von D and not featuring Jeffree Star. If you like this video and you wanna see more, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.